You reap what you sow, only fans, people. I told you. I told you. I'm telling you right there on that camera. I told you it was going to happen. You all decided, all, all you young men and women, you decided to go and put your beautiful bodies up on OnlyFans to go make yourself purveyors of porn and let all these, you know, <laughs> let all these, you know, uh, addicted to porn people go ahead and look at your stuff. And then they said, well, I'm not going to pay for this shit. First of all, not, we're not going to pay for more than a month to see you do something where you're just going to be prudish. And not show us what we really want. And not be able to be professional enough to go and keep the content coming. Content that your audience wants of you. And then look what happens here. Yeah, The Verge has called it out. The underground trade of OnlyFans content. Uh-oh. Not good news. Oh. So yes, OnlyFans porn is being pirated. Oh boy. So here's what's going. First of all. Verge says now, in a new report, Motherboard is looking at the tools and the underground rings that take advantage of them. Scrapers, speaking to Motherboard, they're using some basic technical knowledge, using scripts called Scrapers to rifle to the OnlyFans website and download huge volumes of content. Quote, some people own server farms that download terabytes of data every day from OnlyFans. Some of these tools were Chrome browser extensions that gave the users the option to download content directly for the OnlyFans site. Oh, no. Google removed the OnlyFans scraping extension when approached for combat my motherboard. But other tools varied, often requiring some coding knowledge to operate, and motherboard used some of these tools to verify that they work. And one data collector referred to as DHRB used the scraper to take advantage of promotions that allow users to temporarily subscribe for free. During the promotion, the script grabs as much content as it can. Timed promotion sniping is the technique called. We fully script accounts that have thousands of videos. We don't compress anything either since we prefer quality over storage space. Literally everything gets scraped, images, videos, audio, and text. And DHRB described what appears to be a supply chain of OnlyFans content with material being sold from one person to another and one that original creators may be unaware of that their content is ending up in. And they're also saying that the data I scrape is resold to a few clients who own either adult websites that host pirated content or people who still resell content to the scored. Let me tell you, some of that stuff's going on the Pornhub. Watch out. I only handle OnlyFans, though, is really just going down a rabbit hole. One person sells to another, that person sells to another, and so on. So you'll see popular porn sites like Pornhub, YouPorn, X Videos. They'll monetize the content with ads on the sites. And Motherboard also found Reddit accounts offering folders of full of pirated videos and users selling OnlyFans accounts preloaded with stolen credits that buyers can use to purchase private media. I'm telling you, man, what a racket. This is what you get, guys. Why do you, didn't you think this happens? Everybody's porn gets stolen. It's just a it's just a fact of life. Now, here's the other thing. The industry professionals know about this very well. They told Motherboard that social stigma against sex work emboldens this theft. Those still in the content feel like it's their right to take it and that the creators deserve the violation by virtue of the work they do. This is according to Vice President of Fan Central and OnlyFans competitor, Kat Ravenga. Multiple performers noted that the risk of theft and piracy devalues their work and reduces the time and effort they're willing to put into their content. So you think you're going to get all the money you're going to get for it and you're going to get paid for it? No, no, no. Not one people can find a way to get it for free. OnlyFans is not secure. We're reading that. And OnlyFans is far from the only platform where piracy is a problem. Check that out. Motherboard put the story out. Here it is. Look for it. Inside the underground trade of pirated OnlyFans porn. And again, when you're looking for subscribers to go and pay $5 a month, well, if they can find a, find a way to pirate it, they will. And they have. The OnlyFans link... Pretty, pretty shitty, but hey, man, this is what you get. You're playing with people that are very low on the low totem pole that are willing to go and do this. It's very disappointing that some people refuse to recognize their work as something valuable. Well, it's not. But remember, are you seeing real value in what you're doing? Showing your assets out there? You're doing it to make money. And you're going to do it your way to make money. So these people are just going to go ahead and take advantage of it. 
knowing they're not going to go and spend money for some custom something or what they want or waiting for you to give them something that you think they want. They're just going to go and just shit on your face and basically just go and take it. I'm not surprised. You shouldn't be surprised either. So I try to warn all you, all you young women and women that decided to go ahead and get onto OnlyFans and start doing content because you thought it was a great way to make money. Well, now look what you did. Imagine where that content's going, who's looking at it, how it's being used, and how widespread it's getting out there in public. I won't be surprised if we start hearing people that will start saying, my OnlyFans content got on Pornhub. Uh Uh-oh. Well, whose fault is that?